account receivables or credit accounts vary by types of customers and the related industry if a firm decides to allow trade credit to its customers it certainly puts itself into a trade off between enhancing its sales and the resulting uncollectibles so we can say that an inefficient accounts receivable management practice may put the receivables into the threat of more bad debts delaying collections and severe cash shortages so what are the primary activities in accounts receivable management functions it allows granting credit and processing transactions means that it allows recording credit sales posting payments against the outstanding balances in the account receivable accounts the second a uh, function is the monitoring of the credit balances which involves the regular reporting of outstanding balances and notifying the collection managers of the past due receivable amounts the third activity in accounts receivable management practice is the measuring performance of the credit department which involves the preparation and distribution of the key performance measurement reports such as an account receivable aging schedule and the average collection period if we see the goals of account receivable management system the list is there like efficient processing and maintaining the accurate up to date record as soon as possible after the collections are made by the treasury department controlling of the accounts receivable assuming their uh, assuring their updated record like they are in currency no authorized entry into account receivable file collection on accounts and coordination with the treasury department functions coordination and notification with the credit management frequently preparation of performance measurement reports on regular basis credit insurance arrangement which refers to uh, uh, the practice that reduces the risk of bad debts and shift some of the evaluation of credit worthiness to the insurer what uh, what type of major types of credit accounts that can have in the market the first is the open book which is most common uh, that can be uh, seen between the firm uh, documentary trade credit it is with or without line of credit most commonly seen between between the cross border or international transactions installment credit like sale uh, like uh, lease transactions where we have regular and timely payments revolving credit it is automatically renewed as the current debt is paid off and what are the forms of credits terms of credit other than cash like we have ordinary terms which uh, which can be read like uh, net t or uh, net t2 which for example 210 or 1030 which net 30 which means that if you pay uh, 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 within the first 10 days of the credit period you are offered a 2% discount and if you forego the discount period then you must pay the full amount at the 30th day uh, then uh, we have a uh, cash before delivery which is payment in advance cash on delivery this is payment to be made on delivery bill to bill it refers to the payment of each prior bill before the new shipment is made monthly billing this requires monthly billing that each month's bill must be paid uh, before the start of the next month how we can manage the customers receipt a firm's collection system is subject to 
as number one the type of its customers and the method of payment used by that particular customer now how a customer can transfer its funds to the company there are certain modes like electronic fund transfer automated clearing house point of sales now this the point of sales or pos captures the transaction data uh, at the physical location at which the sale is made by the company or the seller debit card program in this program it is an arrangement whereby a customer authorizes a debit to his or an other authorized demand bank account log box arrangement here the bank checks deposited today are available tomorrow to the collecting agency or the seller now how we can evaluate account receivable management function for this we have an aging schedule if we see on the left side of the screen at its first panel we see that uh, the account receivable are uh, broken down into certain categories of days according to their outstanding pattern that we can see here this schedule basically shows the total sales and receivables for each accounting period like here we have this period uh, broken into uh, different months like january february and so on we can also convert this uh, data into percentages uh, in this sense that if we consider the month of january we see the we have total account receivable as to 600 dollars and the breakup of this starts from 330 into uh, 30 dollars where the accounts are nine over 90 days past to due if we uh, develop a relation between the individual past due account with reference to the total of 600 we have this percentage ranging from 55 percent to 5 percent so this means that 55 percent of 600 as accounts receivable are not due just they are uh, 1 to 30 days past old and over 90 days past due we have as little as 5 percent accounts receivable these uh, uh, figure we can also use to uh, develop weighted average collection period for a given period like if we see we have in the second or the lowest uh, lower panel collection days for every class of past due accounts and if we multiply these collection days with the weights that we have calculated in upper table we can determine weighted average collection period for each class of our past due accounts and when we sum all these past due weighted days in a particular period we can determine the weighted average collection period for that particular period of time but there is a drawback of this account uh, aging schedule uh, because it requires more information than number of days of account receivable and this information may not readily be available especially for comparing the firms with each other